HTML file picker element is a way for us to upload local files to the web. If I have a recipe and I want to upload a photo to match, we can do that right with this element. Now, if uploading photos is a critical part to my web app, I want to make sure that I'm testing that that functionality works as expected. So we're going to start off with a new test inside of Playwright, where I want to test that I'm able to upload a file with that picker. To do that, I'm going to start off with the await keyword where I want to say on the page object that I want to use the set input files method. Now this method takes two arguments where the first thing I want to do is pass in the selector to actually grab that file picker element. But then I want to also pass in the path to my actual file. So to start, if I want to grab the selector of this file picker, we can go inside of the dev tools and I can see that this input has an ID of photo upload. So I'm going to first update that selector with photo upload. And then we can see that I have this fixtures directory with my images, particularly of some French toast. So I'm going to paste that right in as my path. And now when we run that test, we can see that Playwright is going to open up the browser and it's going to actually use that local file and upload it to the picker. Now, typically we also want to make sure that we verify that it's actually worked inside of our application. In our instance, we don't actually have an ID directly on this figure. So we need to actually traverse the DOM a little bit so that we can find this figure. So I'm going to first find this file picker element by running await and using the page where I'm going to use the dollar sign along with the selector, which is going to get me that element. With Playwright though, we need to actually save this into a constant so that we can run again another wait command. So I'm going to set that equal to photo upload where we can then use photo upload in the next line. Next, I want to find the parent of the photo upload. So I'm going to create a new constant called photo upload parent. And I'm going to set that equal to a wait where I'm going to use this photo upload constant where I'm going to again use the dollar sign. But this time I'm going to pass in X path, which I'm going to set equal to dot dot, which what that'll do is it'll go a level up inside of the DOM. But now that I have the parent, I can actually find that figure. So I'm going to say constant photo upload figure is equal to a wait where I'm going to use the photo upload parent this time. And I'm going to say I want that to be dollar sign where I'm going to look for that figure. Now, finally, instead of using a single dollar sign, I want to actually use two dollar signs here because I want to actually verify that we have this element. So I'm going to check that it exists as an array of elements. But now I can say that I want to expect that this photo upload figure to have length of one. And now when I run the test, we can see just like before, Playwright is going to actually open up the browser and run that test. But this time when it passed, we can see that it also went through and ran this expect statement. Where if we comment out that file upload and we try to run the test again, we can see that Playwright goes through, but this time it doesn't upload the file. And we can see that it fails because the array has a length of zero. But like before, if we uncomment that and we run our test again, we can see that Playwright does indeed find that file. So in review, if we want to upload a file within our test, we can use the set input files method on the page object to easily select a selector as well as the path where we want to upload that file from. But then we can look inside of the DOM to find something so we can make sure we expect it to work exactly right.